neurotech company Kernel is ready to start shipping its $50,000 helmet that can read a user's mind. The Kernel flow can analyze neurons being fired in the brain and establish precise patterns of brain activity. The only requirement is being plugged into a computer with a USB-C connector. Researchers could use this data to study how the brain ages and the potential causes of mental disorders or brain strokes. Kernel CEO Brian Johnson said that he eventually hopes to sell a device like this for the price of a smartphone, letting everyone know what goes on in their heads. The highly anticipated Battlegrounds Mobile India launched an early access beta for a limited number of users. The slots were quickly filled up and the beta registration link says it is not accepting more testers. The game's developer, Crafton, said in a statement that more open beta slots will be made available over the course of Thursday and that any progress made in early access will carry over when the game launches. Some users who were able to get access report that the game is 721 MB in size. Apple CEO Tim Cook said that allowing sideloading or installing apps from sources other than the App Store would pose a serious threat to iOS security. Speaking virtually at the Viva Tech 2021 conference, Cook was asked about the proposed European Digital Markets Act, which would force Apple to allow sideloading as an anti-monopoly measure. The Apple CEO claimed that Android, which does allow users to install apps from any source, has 47 times more malware than iOS, which only allows users to download apps reviewed by Apple. The current language of the proposed law, Cook said, would destroy the security and privacy initiatives of the iPhone. OnePlus CEO Pete Lau has revealed that the firm has officially decided to further integrate with sister company Oppo. Lau said in a forum post that the decision had been made after positive impact from the existing partnership. He also said the deeper integration would help build better products for OnePlus customers. It's worth noting that both OnePlus and Oppo are owned by Chinese conglomerate BBK Electronics that also owns other smartphone makers like Vivo and Realme. Realme has confirmed that the 4G and 5G editions of their Nazo 30 smartphone will launch in India on June 24. Launched earlier in Malaysia, the Realme Nazo 30 is powered by the MediaTek Helio G95 and features a 6.5-inch Full HD Plus IPS display with a 90Hz refresh rate. It sports a 48MP triple rear camera setup along with a 5000mAh battery and 30W fast charging. Chinese smartphone brand Honor has announced the Honor 50 series of phones, which will come with support for Google Mobile Services and Google Apps. Honor was recently sold by Huawei, which is banned from accessing Google services due to US trade sanctions. The Honor 50 Pro sports a 6.72-inch Full HD Plus 120Hz AMOLED display and is powered by the Snapdragon 778G chipset. For optics, it has a 108MP quad rear camera setup along with a 4000mAh battery with 100W fast charging support. A statement provided by Qualcomm to XDA developers has confirmed that older smartwatches and wearables running Qualcomm chipsets can be upgraded to the new Wear OS 3.0. Announced at Google I.O. 2021, in collaboration with Samsung, the new Wear OS can theoretically run on any device with the Snapdragon 3100 or Snapdragon 4100 or 4100 Plus chipset. However, smartwatch manufacturers will decide if they want to provide the update to existing products or if users will have to buy a new device to enjoy the new Wear OS. Music streaming service Spotify has launched a live audio app called Green Room, likely in a bid to compete with the current popularity of Clubhouse. Green Room lets any user host or participate in live rooms with the option of joining the platform with their Spotify login info. Spotify has promised that it will bring new programming to Green Room in spaces like music, culture and entertainment. Facebook has announced that it will begin testing ads inside its Oculus VR headsets. Facebook says it aims to help developers earn revenue on the Oculus platform and create a self-sustaining platform that can support a variety of business models. Ads will begin to appear in Blast On, an action game developed by Resolution Games and other games over the coming weeks. Users will be able to hide individual ads or choose not to see ads from a particular advertiser.